Well, not only are farm commodity prices at record highs, so is the land they're being grown on. But if the past is any indication, every bull market is followed by a bear market, and many worry this latest farm boom could, like years before, turn into a farm bust. Joining me now is Demona Doy with Oklahoma State University. So I guess my question to you is, for all of us that have seen the ups and downs of agriculture, what makes this time different? I think there are a number of things that are different. So our uh, exports are more uh, broad in the sense that we export to a lot of different countries for many different commodities. Our farm balance sheets are much better, for instance, than they were in the 80s in that farm debt levels are low. We have a lot more debt that's uh, tied up in fixed rate loans, and so even if interest rates start to tick up, there's uh, long-term commitments in terms of relatively low interest rates associated with that debt. We don't see farmers taking on uh, a lot of additional debt to purchase the land or even a lot of capital investments. So when incomes are good, they're certainly buying more machinery and equipment and perhaps even land, but they're not doing it with uh, leveraged money, so they're not borrowing a lot to, to do that. So. so I'm assuming your best advice to someone maybe flush with cash now down on the farm is just to play it close to the best? And don't invest all your uh, eggs in one basket. So certainly don't tie up money that you might need in the long run for retirement and other things only in farmland. Explore some off-farm investments, again, to diversify the portfolio, diversify your risk. Well, thank you so much, Demona. And we will have even more from Dr. Doy on our new and improved website. Just go to this week's Value Added.